one, you know, at that link from, from the eraser to, to right here is one head unit. I just chose the head because, you know, why not? And then, how long is the coyote? Well, the coyote is one, two, three, four head units long. Okay? So, just remember that again. One, two, three, four. Four head units. So, automatically, you've got the proportion between the body length and the head. Because it's there it is, you saw it, right? Talk about. Alright, how tall is it? It's one, two, <coughs> from the tallest point to the lowest point, it's three head units. So it's three by four. Three by four. So you got a three by four box. And every time you you made one of those on your paper, you put a little tick mark. Because you, know, you, can't, you can't visualize this. So you put a little tick mark between here and here. And then one, two, three, four. One, two, three. And then you say, oh, you got all those tick marks. You say, okay, there's a circle. There's two hands. Where do you think hands come from, right? There's another circle. And I know it's you, you, you were doing this. You did that. I saw you when you were drawing your deer. You were doing that. Okay, now you can, you can show. Me. Here's a square, here's a square, here's another circle. And you, and you put that, you use those over the tick marks. And all of a sudden, what you've got is something that's perfectly proportioned. It's not drawn, but it's proportioned right. You know, you don't have a squatty coyote or a coyote that looks like a dachshund or, you know, or a coyote that looks like a horse. You've got a coyote that's correctly proportioned. And then you still got the subject in front of you. And all you do is soften those lines and add a little bit of detail in the inner. That's what the eraser is for. Erase stuff that you don't need. And you got it. You got the coyote roughed out. Okay, right there. Okay. So you need to try that. Try it on something that's not going to fly away. Flowers work great. Get one of these big lilies or something and just, just practice that. Okay? All right. Birds. Believe it or not, most birds start with an H. Start, start with an A, start with an A shape. Okay, so you get an A shape and you add a pump and a boom, 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 and you got a bird. Okay? There's the A shape in there. body angle right and then you simply draw from this A shape. Okay? And every every organism has something like that that you need to look for. All we're doing is just giving you some some very basic ways of viewing things very quickly. You don't agonize over this. Where's the A? This is kind of an elongate A. But everything that's important is inside, and then, then it becomes less critical. Drawing this and then drawing these separate is much easier than drawing, trying to draw the whole outline, because you end up all, white, you know, as my instructor would say, wonker jawed. You know, it's not a good thing. So there's that, there's that, there's that, there's that, there's that, and there's that. Just like soup. Okay. So, so that's basic getting shapes. And you need to, I, I mean, I can show you 10,000 examples, but that's a technique. And you've got a handout on that which shows you exactly how to do that.
Has everybody got everything soon? They don't have the white paper yet. They need that. Right now? Yes. and everybody got a journal book and they, and, and they were to make a sketch journal and these are, these are called colo books and we, we chose them because they have six pages in them or twelve <coughs> the back. Okay, everybody got their own and mine happened to be black oh, what am I going to do with a black journal right so black journaling was born uh, it's simply using color pencil on black paper. Now, how, that, how can that be any different than anything else? It's very, it's very, anybody ever drawn on black? It's very different. Because the shadows are already there. Right? The shadows, sometimes the shadows are the hardest thing to put in, but they're already there. All you have to do is put in the highlights. And it, it, it's, for me, it's much easier to do lots of different things and do it very quickly because you don't see any, there's no such thing as a mistake. You don't see them. And you don't see the mistakes. So I'm going to put this back here. And I'm going to show you, a, a, we're going to do a couple things. We're going to do them in class. Okay? Everybody need to get the handouts that we have. And Sue gave you two sheets of black paper. Two sheets of brown paper. The brown is just for your edification. We'll talk about that later. But the black is what you're going to be using. And she's going to give you three sheets or two sheets of this paper. And it has two sides. It has kind of a really smooth side and it has a side that feels like paper. Okay? You remember last time when we gave you the graphite paper for transferring? Black graphite paper on black paper doesn't work really very well. So this is the same stuff except it's white. Okay? Does and everybody the, have paper? And the side that feels smooth is the side that goes down. If you do it the other way, nothing will happen. Okay? All right. Let me show you, let me show you this technique. The other thing is we gave you a picture of a green tree frog. So we're going to step through this, and I gave every table has a colored pencil, so we're going to do this, and we're going to do it in class. We've got plenty of time, we're going to step through this. While I'm remembering it, the other thing is uh, your notebooks, you know, with these punches, we bought a punch and we're going to, for the museum here, and it'll, it'll be here, so if you want to make more journal pages, all you have to do is come in and punch it before you leave. And next week we're going to bring you extra, we bought some rings. Oh, okay. Oh, did we? Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Yes, we'll okay. try to remember to bring those. All right, so we'll bring it so you can make your own journals, you know, continue the process. There's okay. extra writing paper and also the white drawing paper over there right now. Right. Kim's got it. She took it all, so there's no. Yeah, don't bother. Okay. All right. So the first technique we're going to talk to you about is on drawing on dark paper is <coughs> this colored pencil on colored or black paper. We're going to use black. We're going to show you the technique. Okay. We're going to go back. Assuming you don't know how to get the shape again, we're going to use this white transfer paper to transfer the shape to the paper. Okay? So all you have to do is take the photo, put it on 
the top of the black piece of paper and sandwich between it this, the white with the shiny, the slick side down and trace the outline. Just like you know there. Might as well, we can turn the lights on, might as well. That way we'll all be on the same page. You've got photo, white, slide down, shiny down, on, on the black. And just go over and get every outline that you think you need. And this is, this is black drawing paper, this is just not, and you can use both sides of it. hard to tell which is See what you know, you don't need every outline, just, just enough. Actually, you can actually just put the white over the black and actually draw it without a photo if you're doing in the field. You okay? So beware that you can't erase the white on the black. sale rack because nobody, nobody wants them. They can get a half price or a half price. Yeah, see? Here, let me show Look, what a beautiful drawing. Perfect. Yeah. Once you start with a perfect outline, there's nowhere to go but Techniques. There's her, her technique. You make it really bold, or you make it, you can make it really. You can do whatever you want. The, the white can become part of the, of the image too. That's cool. Everybody can draw. Like Diane was talking a while ago, she took a photo of the Berman moth and her painting of the, her painting. Was a more powerful image than the 
drawing, but without the photo, she couldn't. So this could just not be world class photo. It could still be useful. Okay. So don't throw it away until you. All right, everybody got an outline? Okay. Now there's colored pencils. I know, I know that you're going to have to fight over the colors, but we're going to run through this and we're, we're going to. All right. First step, add a base color, white in some shade of yellow. I don't care what shade of yellow it is. And Frank uh, King instead, when he was, when he was uh, looking for the, uh, in the great doors of the same book, he says, I am fully conscious of a complete presentation of a region visit as a task beyond my power. All I can strive to do is create an illusion, my own illusion. And that's what a sketch is, is your illusion. So if it's not exactly the right color, who cares? You know, representational is fine. We're not doing illustration here, we're doing sketch journey. See, lay down a 